Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Miyogi, and welcome back to another episode of Miyogi Reacts to MF Ghost. Now, the big reveal from last episode got us all our hearts racing. It's our boy. Our boy is back. Our boy is back. <laughs> Basically, yeah, literally his back was shown in the last scene of last episode. Now, even the title of this episode is named after our boy, the Tragic Rallyist. We got a bit of some backstory from the narration, I mean the commentary. So we know a bit of what happened to Takumi after the events of Initial D. Now, let's see how much more Takumi content we'll be getting. And aside from our boy, focusing on the battle. So the battle is now focused for Kanata with the Yajikita, sister, Yajikita twins, uh, Nozomi, and I, I keep forgetting the other guy's name, the one that looks like Keisok Jr. And the other main battle between Sakamoto, Yudai Sakamoto and Shun Aiba. And the third one being the battle between um, Ishigami and Michael Belgian Waffle. So yeah, three main races are on the key points of this episode of MFG and we're all going to be finding out what happens on each of them. So if you're ready, get your popcorns in, get the counter ready! Because I have a bad feeling there's gonna be a lot of English coming here and it's not just from Kanata, not just from Ren. We're gonna be receiving it from a lot of these racers right here. So let's get to it. Nanto. Okay, so we're starting again as a recap of and there it is. We start with his back. We start with his back again. I just noticed though, his jawline is sharper than how it was back in fifth stage. The tragic rallyist. I wonder what would be the basis why he got that nickname. Would this episode tell us what it is or would it not? If you're excited to find out, don't forget to leave a like on this video. You know you want to. Because I'm be the only one who provides this sort of commentary and review for MF Ghost. Okay, the Exige, the Alpha, and the 86 going at toe to toe with each other. You'll send the I heard crazy! Not even 10 se not even a minute into this episode after the intro and we already got a counter in. Yeah, you know it's gonna be good. Why do they exceed sound like an electric motor? Yeah, they just keep coming. Third time's the charm! Ponytail pretty girl! Ponytail pretty girl! <laughs> oh my god, that's another three and Karata is not <laughs> Karata is not skipping out on any of these. ありません。藤原拓海選手は群馬県渋川市出身。Okay, so it was easier for the subtitles to call him the Flying John. But the reason why it's called the Flying John, because that is an abbreviation of what we're seeing here now on the subtitles, the Flying Man of Japan. Um, Flying John, I think that is a shortened version of Japan, maybe. And it's easier to digest instead of flying man from Japan. Make it shorter, flying John. Easier on the tongue. Yep, called it. Yep, called it. 
ラリーストの藤原がなぜレーシングスクールの講師なのかには疑問も残りますがいえ同じだということです歩道を走るラリーもフォーミュラカーも What is with this eerie music? What is with this eerie music? Everybody's treating Takumi as if he's dead. Kai, are you seriously telling me you treated Takumi as if he's dead? In an era where you could have just simply sent an email or throw him a Facebook message. Bro, I know you're all professionals, but come on, I know you have private lives. I know you have lives outside of professional racing. You could at least pop him a message or two. Okay, true, true. He is not wrong there. And hold up. Yeah, this is the closest font that we could get for the Porsche, for the Porsche、um, branding at the back. But clearly, the more iconic copyright license of Porsche is the Griffith insignia in the front, which they don't have here. No speed, 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 no speed. その走りにはカレー臭が漂う MFG の何がつまらないかといえばあなたのようなロートルが2年連続チャンプとして君臨していることに尽きる目障りだそろそろ僕の目の前から消えてくれ The track though! そこで踏めないのかヨーロッパのレースなら10歳の子供でもそこでアクセルを踏み抜くぜ Oh you dick! Belgian waffle! What the hell? You intentionally did that, didn't you? Oh wait, right.、Um, professional motorsports actually do that. But this is blatant. This is blatantly intentional! Okay,、uh, just a bit of a side note. I think I am glad that they kind of fixed the audio mixing and balancing of the Eurobeat and the dialogue. We barely get that in the past episodes, but here it's kind of balanced out. Good job, production team. Yes, true! True! Kai is correct! Because in an era of simulators, You basically have zero consequence when creating contact with fellow rivals in the same simulation. So you can basically be even more aggressive as you go along, as long as they place your advantage and you know how to counter the impact and effects of said collision. That wasn't like that back in the day because that kind of entails a lot of,、um, you know, you know, physical、uh, maintenance. This. But I do believe they're aware of this as long as they have this. <laughs> Was that necessary? Kyoko, is it really necessary for you to fix your panties? Or show it at least on that scene? <laughs> Was that sound file necessary? I know you're all thinking, Miyogi, was pausing at this very moment necessary? <laughs> okay, that rules out Kanata, so Ren, you're safe in Ren's book. Stop exposing her, man! You're digging your own grave! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no, Ren, you're getting it all wrong. You're getting it all wrong, Ren. Oh wait, right. Almost forgot. He said sorry. Yokozuniがしながらの減速を難なくこなしますね。四つのタイヤを総動員して減速するテクニックは強端に与えします。オーバースピード気味のエントリーから鮮やかにラインを収束させてしまうんですよね。Wait, hold on. Did they fix the branding on the Lotus? Somewhat. I could vaguely see the ye the green triangle on the yellow circle there. To, to be fair though, because Lotus has been bought by Toyota. Or was it the other way around? I think it was uh, Lotus has been bought by Toyota from what I remember. RDRS で藤原 Okay, to make what Kai said more digestible in shorter terms, um, Belgian waffle is created in a lab. Uh, Kanata is just Takumi Fujiwara Jr. ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、
あいつわざわざいい感じにお尻はみ出させてから出ていくんだよ<笑>エンジェルス仲間ではハミケツのマミって呼ばれバッボンゴマミイチオシのドライバーはマミのイチオシはルーキーの片桐かなたくんです<笑> Well, you know what they say Yeah They're gonna engage in war and I'm just gonna be in the camp So which side are you on? Team Ren or Team Mami? Team slap, team slap your boo, or team show the, show the ass. P post in the comments below. Race 前の ceremony の時、近くにいたんですけど、目が釘付けでした。レーシングドライバーというよりファッション。She has very thick eyebrows. 片桐くん、マミより年下ですけど、絶対応援したいです。あの人嫌い。やることなすこと一時間的なまでに隙がないよお前には戦闘グループがロングストレートに踊り出ていくあ、here we go the active arrow of the cayman yep alright for those who are not car junkies here's what I need to at least define to you what active arrow is some cars they have this、um, Electronic aerodynamic system, aka active aero for short, where the system triggers when the computer or this or the sensors detect that the car is already past a certain speed. So, for example, it's already running at 100 kilometers per hour. Active aero kicks in.、Um, if it goes past 150 kilometers, 200 kilometers, the suddenly you can see like a wing suddenly popping out from behind, or sometimes you know, doing that. The thing with active aero is that it's mostly found in a lot of European sports cars. But Japan did it first with the Mitsubishi GTO back in 1992. The OG. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Top of the two shoes, and it's not a good one. 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 本当のレースはここからです先頭から斜めを後方3位グループが来るまるでドラッグレースのような力比べだ5号車坂本のアウディ R8 は NA5.2L V10 対する9号車相葉は 3.8L V6 ツインターボ日本が誇る最強の切り札日産 GTR 最強無双のドイツ艦隊を相手に短期気を吐くさあ行け神風ヤンキー相葉旬あー旬マイボーイマクマクシマイゼンマクシマイゼンスリップストリームアイテイクバックエブリティガイセラバーライバー My boy better stay in third place, though. こちらは8位グループ NA 5.2L V10 エンジンのランボルギーニウラカン対するは 3.9L V8 ツインターボフェラーリ 488GTB 軽々と600馬力を超えていくイタリアンマッチョ同士のどつき合いださあいった絶妙なタイミングでスリップストリームを抜けた赤羽海斗な,なら赤羽 Why are you mad bro? He had the advantage! You had air hitting you like there's no tomorrow! And you're heavy! Oh, there they are. Yo, did, yo, did I see a different? 
color style for that boy's eyes? Did he just enter seed mode? See, see, look at that, look at that. I don't think his eyes were like that earlier. I'm getting a good look at this exceed right here. Yeah, they sort of fixed it. Back then, it was just a yellow, yellow disc. But now they added a bit of some green there to get close to the Lotus logo. It's not prominent though, because like I said, copyright licensing. <laughs> See? His eyes dilated back. そうです。え?ごめんなさい。ヨーロッパではスリップストリームを塔と呼びます。僕は今前の未来が作ったエアポケットの中にいます。ドラッグが大幅に減少するので、録速が伸びていきます。ブレーキングポイントなどで会話を
change of coloring style for a single frame. When it focuses on Kanata, then suddenly freeze frame, change render, more blended. Chef's kiss. So let's go over to the post credits roll. So Kanata's far behind again. Belgian waffle gets bigger and bigger for gap. Oh, did we just see Shun Aiba trigger understeer? Wait, wait, let, let's go back a few frames. Alright, so um Kaito is now going up against Jackson Taylor. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, it's not understeer. He just braked hard. Passing the bends, Belgian waffle there, and ends with Kanata's 86. Okay. Given the length of the Odawara Pike's Peak, yet this is a very long episode comprising nothing of battle after battle after battle. So, and given the title, the man in car number four, we're gonna be spoiled already with who there's going to be a new character coming in who is not part of this current roster of the godly 15 but is definitely going to be part of the upcoming next battle because car number four yeah you only see that in mfg and his relevance would shock you but i'm not gonna say further on that one the only thing i will say however FBI, you're up! <laughs> you, you'll see why once we get to that part of the episode. So, I don't want to bombard you much with all the technicalities because I know a lot of you would be fangasming over it. This is a very misleading episode if you're going to base it on the title alone. It could have been better if the focus of the title is not on the tragic rallyist because that plot point only lasted no more than four minutes in the first half after that no one talked about fujiwara no more it just talked about how well kanata was able to overtake how well um belgian waffle was able to overtake ishigami how well shun was able to keep toe to toe with yudai sakamoto though the third one was one of the least talked about topics in this battle oh yeah what happened to the civic he became irrelevant right after this race. Just realized. Maybe we'll know more in the next episode because with how it's titled, we should expect the second lap to conclude on next week. So, please put in your comments below what do you think of this episode of MF Ghost? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are your theories? How they could have produced that episode better if you have any thoughts about it? Or if you are someone in the field, how could they have done it better while considering factors such as budget? Um, somebody who is familiar with the number 4 car in MFG, please don't spoil what car it is. But I would leave it to fans who just came to MFG because of the anime to guess what car number 4 is in MF Ghost. If you get it right, I might have something prepared for next week exclusively to that to the people who get it correctly anyway don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in the next episode next week of mf ghost you all have a wonderful day